I'm looking at the light squares as well as something yep. that white wants, would love to just remove these light square bishops. If c4 and e6 were poof gone, then black could be in some big trouble. Yeah, and Wesley just a player that I feel like no matter the conversation, somehow he's a bit overlooked. It's strange because we know how strong Wesley is, but no matter if it's about the uh, opening or if it's a who can contend for a speed chess championship, everybody sort of knows he's there, but right. he's never the focal point. Whoa, bishop takes h6 is played. Okay. I, wow. Wesley all in with the attack. The, uh, the light squares are whites for the taking, thanks to this pawn on g6 in particular. And Hikar brings that bishop out. The f2 pawn is hanging, or is it? Because if bishop takes f2, maybe there's oh. just rook takes f2 sacrifice. because his king is safe oh rookie eight queen h7 queen h7 oh he queen missed queen h7 check. and the piece is overloaded look at it let's go to the analysis board queen h7 queen takes pawn takes king takes we have rook h3 forcing rook h6 and white will win the bishop at the end of the up oh, queen g8 but there's no okay. way that defends g7 G7 looks really good. Maybe even just queen takes b7. It's G7's checkmate next, if you allow it. Ah, queen takes b7. What a subtle move. And now, now G7 is even stronger, everyone, because the queen guards the escape square. Hikaru takes on G6 with the queen, but it's really just for show. And we immediately... 